Democrats are now scrambling to cover up for the Biden crime family. Hunter's plea deal fell apart. Biden evidence continues to abound. And we've got a lot of questions about impeachment coming out of Congress, including senators like Ted Cruz. He calls this whole thing a cover up. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But first, let's check in with these Democrats who seem like they're very concerned about unfair case being leveled against Joe Biden. This is one House representative who says this whole thing is just made up. Representative Madeline Dean says the Republicans really have no evidence Joe Biden's innocent. And when you hear House Speaker Kevin McCarthy suggest that they may be close to an impeachment inquiry of President Biden. What's your reaction to that? My reaction is, where's the evidence? There is no evidence of SARS, any wrongdoing by the president. And Mr. McCarthy Hunter's knows that. Laptop, this is all everything in, uh, upside down. Hunter's because charges, the former Hunter's president, who was a, change so plea. corrupt and crude and base, engaged in such criminal activity, now we're going to try to deflect, or McCarthy's going to try to deflect uh, and try to drag Mr. Biden into this. Uh, it's actually uh, completely upside down. Again, it's failed leadership. Also showing is the extraordinary contrast between what Democrats have done, particularly under President Biden. What, you impeached Trump twice for meaningless nonsense, and now you're prosecuting him? Should the Republicans do that to you guys? Uh, in the last Congress, look at what we did in the big bills that we passed. Everything from ARPA, which was actually in the Congress before. The Inflation Reduction The Act? Infrastructure Bill, the Chips and Science Act, the Safer Communities Act, IRA, all resources to invest in America, to to invest in Americans as our economy is growing. Last night, I had a telephone town hall, which was really informative. I love the opportunity to talk to oh, my gosh. constituents. About what? We had more than 6,500 folks About on the what? call. Don't deflect. And what they tell me is they have a growing confidence in the economy. Ah, all right. So you see how she does it. Now, this is pretty good. You know, she's pretty good at that. Did you see how she deflected that pretty nicely? And now the rest of this two minutes is going to be her babbling about some town hall she had. So it doesn't even answer the question. There's no evidence. And he doesn't say, well, yeah, there is. We've got so We've got whistleblowers. We've got FBI, uh, a whistleblower who's confirming the IRS whistleblowers. The Marco Polo people put together an encyclopedia of stuff from the crime criminality of the laptop. We've got Gal Luft. We, and the list goes on and on. I mean, what else do you want? But it's not enough. And really what this boils down to, according to a former senator called Claire McCaskill, this is Republicans trashing a father's love. What, what accusations and arguments do you think they're going to make, given this didn't go exactly as planned? today. Well, they're going to keep doing what they've been doing. What's that? Um, they are going to try to indict a father for loving his son who oh. has been addicted to drugs and or oh. alcohol and without evidence of the father doing anything other than loving yeah. that son. Yeah, it's just a father's love. They just love each other so much. It's a great defense. wonder if that works in any other parts of the country. They are going to try to indict a father for loving his son who has been addicted to drugs and or alcohol. <laughs> And without evidence of the On father MSNBC. doing anything other than loving that son. It's just love, what, man. What? Republicans hate fatherly love. They want to prosecute you if you love your kids now. Now, Biden's joking about this, and it's not that funny. Listen to the crowd. They don't think it's funny. Republicans may have to find something else to criticize me for. Now that inflation is coming down. Maybe they'll decide to impeach me because it's coming down. I don't know. I love that one. Oh, anyway. Another story. Not too many laughs on that one. Yeah, maybe you should be impeached. And don't you love this? They keep saying impeachment is going down, I think is what they're saying. Impeachment is going down. Is it going down or is it not going up as fast? Are we going to go back down to normal prices like pre-COVID? <laughs> no, of course not. It's just not going up as fast anymore, which is great, but it's still going up, which is really fun. So we're never going to see the return to normality. But we know that they're panicked about this because there is a cover-up underfoot. The judge just busted them on it. And so here's Ted Cruz saying, all right, this is a cover-up. Time to do something about it. I think they had a deal. This was a sweetheart deal. This was designed to give Hunter Biden a slap on the wrist, let him get away with zero jail time. And its most important function was to cover up for the big guy, to cover up from Joe Biden, to say all these matters are done. It's all closed. It's over. I think if this plea hearing had been the day after the plea deal was announced, I think it probably they would have stuck to their guns and it might well have approved. But what happened is several weeks passed and in the several weeks passed, more and more evidence came out 
out. The FD-1023 from the FBI came out. The two IRS whistleblowers testified before the House of Representatives That's some accusing good evidence. the Attorney General Merrick Garland of lying under oath, accusing the That's Attorney General there. of obstruction of justice in this case. And suddenly, the Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office in the court realized they couldn't stand up in court and say, oh, no, 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 Busted. we're not going to investigate any of this new evidence that's all come roaring out. That became impossible to say. So they said, well, yeah, of course we're going to investigate that. And suddenly Hunter's lawyer said, we're out of here. And the whole thing blew up. I'm glad it blew up. This deal stunk from day one. And it was about covering up Hunter and more importantly, covering up Joe Biden's involvement in the corruption. They did. They busted him. They got caught with their hands in the cookie jar big time. And so are the Republicans going to do anything about it? Kevin McCarthy is going to walk us through what an impeachment inquiry looks like. But J.D. Vance is taking some action. He says he's blocking nominees. No more U.S. attorneys are getting approved through his watch. My objection is not specific to this nominee. I think the Biden administration has sent a lot of unqualified folks to the it's not sending its best uh, to the Department of Justice. Many of the nominees are unqualified. Some of them seem actively corrupt and some I assume are good people. But the problem is not oh. this specific nominee. The problem is the fact that the Department of Justice has been corrupted under the Biden administration and there nice. needs to be some reckoning with the American people and with this body and with the nominations process before we allow these nominees to glide path to the confirmation process. Let's just talk about a tale of two leaders in this country right now, one a Democrat and one a Republican. Of course, the President of the United States, his son, Hunter Biden, has a multiple federal charges, multiple federal investigations that implicate directly on the President's business dealings, may very well implicate the President directly and plausibly could lead to some significant problems for the president in the presidential election. Did you catch that Trump reference? They're not sending their best to the DOJ. They got a bunch of liars and cheaters and bullies and some I assume are good people. Just like Trump's first speech after he walked down that elevator during the first run. So now we've got Kevin McCarthy who's going to walk us through what an impeachment inquiry looks like and why it's so important. Here he is going at it with the media. Okay, let, let me first correct you. Were Whoa. you there when I said that? Whoa. Okay, then what did I say? Okay, so you're, you're claiming that I said we're going to impeach the president. I floated the idea of impeachment. Okay, so you're wrong. So if you record, go back and watch. I said impeachment inquiry. There is a big difference. Yeah. And let me explain it because maybe not everybody understands it. Pay attention. What impeachment inquiry does when you vote on the floor, it gives you the apex of power of Congress, okay? And just walk through what? We have two whistleblowers from the IRS claiming the Biden family were treated differently, that David Weiss let the statute of limitations run out. The basic rule of thumb in any case, when you're getting the statute of limitations coming up within six months, you get an extension based upon the individuals. They said the Bidens were willing to do that. They should do that now. We have an individual that we now found went to the FBI a number of years ago claiming that they bribed the president and said you couldn't find the money because all the shell companies, it's the 1023. Hey, we found FBI that employment. when then Attorney General Barr found it, that he sent it to the Pennsylvania um, Justice and they said there's more to it. When does an attorney out investigate the FBI? We then found that the president, Biden, while running for office, made a couple claims. He first looked the public in the eye and said, I've never spoken to my son about any business. That's right. He told us that. Many, he said, my family times. has not taken one dime from China. In part of this investigation, we found that when the vice president became vice president, his family created 20 shell companies, kind of like what the 1023 said would happen. We found that 16 of the 17 payments from Romania came to the president while he was vice president. Hmm. We now found that money did come from China differently said. We've now found the president has changed what he said, but we have a real question about David Weiss and the attorney general and the other six people in the meeting. It's contradictive based upon what the IRS agents said and asked questions and took notes from the meetings and emailed everybody about those notes. Now, if you're any member of Congress, this is not saying impeachment. This is not anything about we need to investigate. And what happens, like you watched the situation yesterday, where the federal government says there's still an investigation of the Bidens. Well, the only way you'll be able to get information that way is to have the strength 
to be able to get the documents you need. I was concerned when asked a question that I haven't seen an administration act this way at the same time as Nixon did by withholding information. If, we do not, if they do not provide the information we need, then we would go to an impeachment inquiry. Impeachment inquiry. What simply is an investigation and providing Congress the power to do that investigation. So I'm glad you asked the question that I could clarify that you misinterpreted and misstated. All right, we now know what an impeachment inquiry is. Thanks for the education, Kev. Are you gonna do it?